Hey podcasters, what's happening? It's time to find your avatar. So we're going to dive straight into it. So what is an avatar? So in the previous session, we found out what our niche was. The next step is to find who our avatar is within that. And to find out what our avatar or who our avatar is, um, an avatar isn't the blue thing that sits around on a movie um, and is controlled by a human. It is a person or, or, or you know, your ideal person that your podcast is trying to reach out to. Okay, so you really want to give this some thought. You want to give, make sure you've got your niche niche down. You want to get your avatar um, really tied in as this really helps make decisions easier down the track when you're uh, making decisions about your, your title, your, your length, your show structure, all those sorts of things. They really do tie into your avatar. So what is an avatar? As I said, it's not a blue being from another planet. It is your ideal listener. It's the person who you shape your questions, your discussions, your whole show around to say, would you close your eyes, you say, would my avatar like this? Okay. Um, you want to construct a person. Okay? You want to construct someone who knows everything. You want to know what makes them tick and why. And this may need you may need you know, market research on this. You may need to bring up people who who may fit in your avatar. You want to know everything about this person, their name, age, their sex, relationship status, education status, their family, job, hobbies, financial position, um, and where would they be listening to your show, when would they listen to your show. All of these things really help craft a story uh, for your podcast. Okay, So meet, I want you to meet Andrew. He's a 27-year-old law and commerce graduate who's been constantly trying to climb out of the corporate ranks. And you know, he's five. He's been doing it for the last five years since graduating from uni, and he's become. He's, he he kind of grew up, and he said, oh, "Okay, I, I'm a clue on cookie. I've finished high school. I'm going to go and go to university because that seems like the thing to do." And following university, he said, "Awesome! I've got this great degree, and I've got a job with a great law firm, and I'm going to climb the corporate ranks." And along with that it is going to bring me success and happiness. And he's quickly become disillusioned with the working world. He was smart at school and thought uni, job, happiness. Uh, He's now at the higher end of the corporate ladder and thinks that there must be more to life. He's he's tied into working 60 plus hours a week, always been at somebody's beckon. And yes, he's making some decent money, but... He's got no time to enjoy it. He hangs around similar people climbing the corporate ladder. He's got this underlying feeling though. He's always always had it that he's destined for more, that he'd love to jump out into the entrepreneurial world, but he doesn't know where to start because of the people that he's hanging around with. They're all in the corporate world. They're all working for someone, not for themselves. He, he obviously is working a lot of hours and, he, and he's quite time poor, but he's got 30 to 40 minutes on his way to and from work that he could potentially listen to a podcast that would educate him. So if we look at that, you'll see that knowing who my avatar will help shape all my future decisions. Okay, How long do you think I might be uh, making the show length? Probably 30 to 40 minutes. So when he is on his way to work, he can start the show and you know, that's the average commute for most workers in a city is anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour and it's going to be different for, for each city but 30 to 40 minutes and, and he can listen and he, he obviously gets quite quite stressed out during the week so you know, Monday morning is quite a good place to get him so when do you think I might put one of my episodes at? Monday and you know and, and Andrew you know, he, he gets into work on Monday and there's all this work to catch up on he kind of gets to Wednesday and he's he's just got that sick of it feeling at work and yeah, he wants another bit of a motivational buzz. He wants some education on how he can get one more step out of that. So what do I think I what do you think I give him on Thursday morning? Another episode. And so that's how I crafted everything around that. And then I looked at what is Andrew's what are Andrew's biggest uh, fears, his biggest issues and it's the the, the lack of knowledge that uh, you know, every businessman has already got money and they're, they're successful due to that and he's missed the boat and 
you know, all these barriers to stop and the, and the lack of knowledge as well. So I've crafted my show around breaking down the barriers initially in the episode. So where did the person begin with? Um, where did they start? You know, what was their background? And you know, a lot of them have, have done uni or they've done a trade or they've been working and then, then they've had the snap realisation that there's more to that and that fits perfectly in with Andrew. And then they they have taken massive action They've you know, got certain mentors to help them along the way, and this, then we go into what they're currently doing, what you know, what their biggest learnings have been, and how other people can replicate that. And so that's you know, a, that that's what would Andrew sits there and goes, "Hey, cool! I've actually had an had an idea for an app or you know a, a program or whatever it may be." Um, and then he gets some of these lessons. And goes, oh, that person was in the same boat as me, and, and you know they took the, the jump and, and things like that. So it really ties into giving me an idea of how I can tailor my show to fit my avatar. And you know, you'll you'll see knowing your avatar will have shout, will have and help shape all your future decisions. The better you know your avatar, the better you'll serve the audience that you're trying to target and position yourself for. If you're saying, you know, my, my podcast itself is aimed to, my, my niche is aimed at 18 to 35 year olds. So it's under 35 year old young entrepreneurs. But my avatar is really the person who I think will pick up an iTunes and say, this is what I'm looking for. And they will see my podcast and they'll be, they'll be drawn to it. Um, you can potentially look at you know, what a female and a male avatar may look like for your niche as well, as that will really help things. So your homework, get working on the Find Your Avatar worksheet, okay? Look to see if it fits in with your niche, okay? Make sure that your niche ties in with your avatar and that you know, they're nice and congruent. Um, share it with the group for feedback. We all love to help, we love to give you feedback hopefully make you either tighten it up a bit or you know, give you a bit more clarity or just say, yep, that is awesome, you're on the right track. And make sure to think about your avatar when deciding things in the future training video. So you know, if we're saying what the title is, what's going to appeal to your avatar? Um, thinking what type of show or, or length and all those sorts of things. Think about how it ties in with your avatar. So I'll see you on the next show, which is we'll be talking about the type of show that you're going to put out to your audience.